Fabian Skirvin, one of the two accused charged in the murder of a Jamaican-Canadian couple in Retreat St. Thomas just over two years ago, has claimed that he killed the couple on the advice of one of two voices he had heard in his head. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Viewers, 81-year-old Melbourne Flake and his 70-year-old wife Etta were found dead at their vacation home on the 9th of January 2018. Flake was observed to have sustained head wounds, while his wife was said to have been suffocated. Following investigations, Skirvin, a farmer of Tulip Road and Soho District, both in Seaforth, and his female companion were picked up at a house in the Seaford housing scheme in St. Thomas on Wednesday the 7th of February 2018. They were subsequently charged with two counts of murder and robbery with aggravation each. In July of 2018, the case was transferred to the St. Thomas Circuit Court. Skirvin reportedly in a caution statement disclosed that two inner voices spoke to him, with one telling him to kill and the other saying no. He said the voice that said kill was stronger than the other. When the matter came up for mention on Wednesday the 5th of May before Justice Martin Gale, attorneys for Skirvin indicated that their client had been medically examined by a psychiatrist and found to be suffering from schizophrenia and hallucinations. The psychiatrist was, however, not of the view that Skirvin was insane at the time of the commission of the offence. Skirvin's defence team, led by senior counsel Anthony Williams, assisted by Julian Bailey, have however requested leave to engage the services of a forensic psychiatrist to conduct an independent review of that assessment. The defence intends to plead diminished responsibility, which, if successful, will see Skirvin answering the lesser charge of manslaughter. Diminished responsibility holds that an accused person should be absolved of part of the liability for his or her criminal act if he or she suffers from an abnormality of mind which substantially impairs his or her responsibility in committing or being party to a crime. Prosecutors in the meantime are pressing for a scurving to answer to murder. Allegations before the court are that Skirving, who was employed by the couple as a handyman, had some knowledge of the premises. It is alleged that following the incident, the then 25-year-old, using the couple's bank cards, went on a spending spree with a wedding ring among the purchases. The matter will once again come up for mention on Thursday the 13th of May for a plea and a case management hearing. Teach them! Hey yo, yellow! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!